Welcome to the channel. I'm on my way to the hardware store to get the box for my building before it gets here. And one day I'm going to hit that tree stump back there. I almost did the other day. I've got to stop across the street to dump some trash. Then I got to go over to Jeff's and dump some tires that is in the back of my truck that won't come off his vehicle. We're off to town and I need to go to the grocery store, post office, and then the hardware store. And when we get back, I'm going to line up some of these blocks just to make sure that 20 is enough. The idea is on the end, on the west end, I'm going to have one. Just so it ain't sitting, the wood isn't sitting on the ground, and then it's going to get higher as it slopes down. We'll see. I'm going to lay them out and get a level on them. Make sure that I got enough. If I don't, I'll go back and get some more. Trash is dumped. Let's go. <coughs> oh, not awake. Probably taking a nap. It's 10 in the morning. He's either hitchhiking or napping. That's all he does. Sorry if the windshield's dirty. There's bugs. So I'm going to try to get to that styrofoam today so I can get all that off the ground. Putting it inside the walls in the screen patio. And I don't know if I'm going to get to that today, but I should. Because I don't really have anything else to do. Alright, we're at Jeff's.
I went ahead and got five cinder blocks because you know you can't have too many cinder blocks at home and I don't have to carry them 800 feet and they're cheap so why not because a lot of them by the fence are blocking holes to keep the dogs in and the other ones by the shed are steps to get into that shed so Whew, that was a workout. I had one guy helping with 20 of the four inch blocks and I got five of the cinder blocks. That ought to be plenty. Like I said, I got more at home if I need them, but it's only a 10 by 20 with three skids. So I'm gonna have it all figured out when I get home before the building even gets here. Alright, now I need to go post office. I don't think I have anything. And then the grocery store. Because I have nothing to eat at home. I despise going in the grocery store anymore with the prices the way they are. 50, 60 bucks every trip. And I don't do all my shopping at once. I should. I should load up and put my cooler in here and go to Walmart. But that's yeah, never how it works out. Shopping done. I'm a chocolate milk. It's gonna be so good. Mm. You gotta drink a little out and shake the liver out of it. Alright, let's get home. I got stuff to make spaghetti. But I got fettuccine, fettuccine noodles because I like it thick. I don't like that angel hair. I not like it. It's just weird. I don't know. It feels weird in your mouth. Angel hair spaghetti. I like the thick spaghetti. I don't know where restaurants find that big old thick stuff. They must make it themselves. What are you doing, lady? Oh, the dummies are out today. Drifting into your lane, sitting there texting. Got time for people like that. Just ain't. Let's see if we can find any crackheads. Uh, don't see any. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. That's so good. I had to buy Rooster one Caesar because she doesn't have that to go with her chicken that she likes and you gotta cut them up in little cubes and she'll run from the bowl to her little stoop with a mouthful of about two or three of them and eat them and then she'll run back to the bowl again get another mouthful of two or three and eat them and then when she's done she'll stare at me because she knows she gets a milk bone after she eats. They all know that. You don't miss the milk bones after dinner. You just don't. Oh boy. I get to unload 25 blocks when I get home. I'm going to pull in, unload my groceries. And then I'm going to pull around right there and lay them right there in front of where the building's going. And I gotta remember to keep my telephone with me at all times until I, that guy, he could call me to deliver the building. And I wouldn't know it. You gotta get it foamy. Uh, it's a little warm out today. Well, it's 70 right now. But I bet it goes up to 80. Hmm. 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 One more.
more swaller left. I'm saving it. That's just good. Well, they got the lines all painted on the road. It's all smooth. So anyway, on the box, if my observation is right, it's probably going to be one on the end, and I'm going to have three of them, because there's three skids, and that'll sit there. As the land slopes, I'll have to probably maybe put two in the next row, and we'll just see, because it also slopes, well, it slopes this way, but it also slopes north and south a little bit, so it's going to be interesting be able to do that with the combination of the cinder block and the flat block we'll find something but I want to make sure everything's gonna work out before he gets here with the building it's uh, sometimes it's a challenge when you got slope plan yeah, I don't know I think if I was bu uh, building that house I would you know the guy didn't have you know, he probably didn't have a lot of money. They went in and they just cleared a nice flat spot for the foundation of the house. And that was done well. And it's a nice thick foundation. It's about 10 inches thick. Uh, and I'm glad that I've got that, you know, instead of having a raised foundation. Because those over, t you know, over, if they're, especially if they're not done right, over time, those uh, start to give out on you. So... And probably another reason, that land is just so full of rocks, it would have been, you know, you didn't need a big bulldozer out there. But at least the house, you know, and over time, it, it, there's erosion, which washes away all the soil and that. And I know that for a fact, because when I buried the electrical line for the well pump, I went down at least two and a half feet. And I use south wire, outdoor wire. But over time, it got to the point before that big tree was taken down, it got to the point where you could see it on the surface. So when Russell accidentally picked it up with the tractor when he was loading logs, I, I buried it deeper. So hopefully I won't have any more troubles with it. But water does run down that way. Uh, I hope should be deep enough. If not, I'll bury it again. I wish I'd have run, well, there's really no other way to run that because it's so far to the uh, electrical box. That's probably 300 feet. I know I bought 500 feet and then I had enough to, to run some lines into the house temporarily. Alright. I'll turn you guys off in a minute. And uh, I did speak to Russell yesterday, and he's going to come look at those trees in the back where I'm putting this building and figure out how to take those down. That shouldn't be, one of them is pretty small, and then he can take the lumber for that. Because uh, one of them's a little, we're probably going to have to put a truck on it like we took the big ones down because it's kind of leaning towards the cabin. So it's going to be, have to be dropped to the east. And then the little one on the other side, it can be dropped uh, right between the cabin and the shed. No problem. And there's not a lot of limbs on them, so it won't take long to buck them up and get them out of here. Yeah, they're not, they're not nowhere near as big as uh, the trees that we took down in the front. Because that took me like a week to get all them bucked up. That was a lot of work, but man, I'm glad they're gone. I need to start working on the stumps, getting them stumps down. I'm letting them dry up or, you know, rot up a little bit, but they should cut pretty good now. All right, guys, I'm going to turn you off. We'll come back when uh, I get to unloading these rocks. All right. We are back home. I've got big dog pulled up there. There's Miss Millie. What you doing? You going to find you some sun? 
Puppy dogs like sun. Yeah, that's where she's going. Now, let's take a look at these blocks. If you're interested in looking at blocks, I got blocks. <sighs> Not near as many as yesterday, but I'm by myself. We'll get her done. I'm gonna line them up right here so they're not in the way of the building, but uh, then I'm gonna move my truck out of here, which I gotta back all the way out because I got all that crap laying there. I'm gonna move that crap. I think we can just pull around. Yep, it's just styrofoam. All right, so this is where it's going. I'm gonna unload the rocks. Uh, all right, so we're gonna unload these here in a minute. I'm going to go sit and have another cup of coffee. I only had one. And then I'm going to come out here. The weather's great. And when I get the building, uh, don't be expecting this thing to get finished out uh, right away. It isn't going to happen because I have one major expense coming up sooner than I would have liked. And that's tires. This brand is called Crosswind. Uh, I didn't know he was putting these on because I had these on the car and they only lasted six months these have been on a year just a year and with 12,000 miles on them and there's just nothing left of the tread hardly and these we had we rotated them there's a little life because these are 10 plies but I'm already noticing that difference in how they ride so it's gonna cost me a thousand dollars just to put tires on this truck uh, you know, if I had my other truck, I wouldn't drive it as much and probably wouldn't have wore them out as much. But man, 12,000 miles. And so I asked Alexa where they're made. Guess where they're made. You got it. China. Cheap Chinese made tire. Probably most of them are anyway, anymore anyway. But I was originally going to put Coopers on them. But towards the end of this build you know uh, money was getting tight and because I spent probably twice as much on the the uh, the housing addition as I had planned because you know lumber prices were really high then it was during the pandemic and it was either pay the price and not and wait a couple of years but you have no way to know if the prices are ever going to go down so I went ahead and did it but yeah now I got a spring for new tires and that's more important than finishing out the building. So probably for the first several months, I'm just going to use it for storage. Uh, because I'm not going to be able to. Or I could just maybe buy a little insulation here and there. But no, I'm not going to. It's not going to be an all out, you know, fancy build off the bat. It's not. And I've also got payments now on that, which I'm going to pay more than the payments. But I'm just going to. Yeah, there's no rest in November. I'm going to be putting out a lot of videos and I got to. Uh, Jeff just got some Coopers on his. They're, they were like $260 a piece, I think. And it's pretty much the same size as mine. Uh, so that's probably what I'll go with. Yeah, cheap tires, man. It doesn't pay to do that. But I had no clue he was putting them on. I originally was going to put a better tire, but like I said, money started getting tight. and So I made the choice to go with the cheaper ones. But didn't save anything because here we are a year later I gotta put new ones on it but gotta get around all right I'm gonna go in and have me a cup of coffee and the next clip well I'll be unloading these dudes
I think I got way more than enough. As, uh, yeah, but you know what? I can still use those blocks on other places. So we got them all unloaded. Woo! All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go clean my kitchen so I can cook later on, and uh, then I'm gonna come back out. You won't have to wait long, but we're gonna come back out and lay some of these out. Find out how many we're gonna need on each end for level. And all that good stuff. I'm gonna. Truck won't be here. We'll start about here because I want to leave a good four foot, four or five foot path to go in front of the shed. Ah, oh, it's that time of day where we're getting all these weird shadows. Yeah, sun's right there, right above me. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys. I got my eight foot level. Uh, I can't even see the bubbles on that level, so I'm going to put my other level on top of that. Now, we slope down this way, so my idea is to... I need to get my gloves. Be right back. Y'all watch Tilly and Millie for a minute. You better leave my GoPro alone. Because I don't trust you, Millie, Tilly, Silly, Frilly, whoever, whatever names whatever names you are okay there's just things you do yeah you remember you tried to eat my GoPro before you did all right so I need my tape measure because I, I don't know where 10 feet is you know I wasn't prepared. Tape measures are out here. Oh. I just got done doing a mountain of dishes. You can tell because my shirt's wet. Mountain of dishes. Whatever dish in the house is clean now. <laughs> okay, so about cheer. And oh, no, what am I thinking? 10 feet, it's 20 feet. Yeah, you scared of the tape measure. Okay. And that's 20 feet, so. Let's put one of these blocks down here at the end. It's going to be in a little bit. Okay. And I think I'm going to go every three feet. Let's see. No, nah, that's way too, way too close. I don't need to go every three feet. Okay, so we're, let's go every six feet. I think would be good. I'm just gonna lay the first block down then we're gonna and see that's an issue too there's rocks. All right I may have to uh, they're not gonna be laid out well he could tell me the best distance to put them get on out my way you levels you're always in my way always. And yeah, I think six feet is good enough. Twelve feet, so we need eighteen feet. Yeah. It doesn't have to be exact. The skids are going that way. So. I'll go ahead and put one more down here. Oh. You think I'm building something for you guys, don't you? Well, I might let you get in there. If it gets cold, I got a place to put you. 
Yeah, gets too cold. All right. Now, let's just get, see how level we are. This is the problem. Don't have nothing long enough. So that's going to need two. That's what I was thinking. Which might put it a little above the weight of the building. Yeah, that's way too much. What to do, what to do. Way too much. May have to do a little digging. All right. Well, well that's too much there. Uh, these are eight inches. Well, that's eight. That's a little under eight. Oh man. And it's sloping this way. Let's go down here and start with this end. I already know that end's going to need a center block. and see how far out of level we are. That's already gonna be. <clears throat> I'm probably wasting my time. All right. Three of those. I don't I, I want to at least kind of figure it out so the day he comes I already know how many I need where all right and that's a tad high I don't want to go any higher than that on the end That's about an inch high. Uh, heck, we may just have to set the dude on the ground or, or go back further. I don't want to go back further because I don't want to block the path around the yard. So anyway, that's what I'm dealing with. It's going to gradually get higher as it goes that way. May just not even put a block there. I'll figure it out, but I may have to go get some shorter ones, some skinnier ones, like one inch, one inch, if they got them in one inch, that would be great, but, uh, yeah, I don't want the thing 10 feet off the ground either, because I don't want to, I want to try to avoid building steps, all right, well, this guess we'll probably just have to I'm gonna go get some one inch blocks tomorrow and then we can get it just right I can have it figured out I got plenty of time all right I need to get in there and start whooping up some scatty because these guys are gonna want to eat in about an hour and I ain't gonna be in there fumbling in the kitchen till after they eat because she thinks it's supper time every time I rattle a dish it's supper time for Tilly what are you doing, Tilly? What kind of creature are you after? I don't know what to do with her. She's so silly. 
I don't really have another flatter piece of land. There just isn't. Other than right there. Uh, it's, it's not going there. We're going to get it here. It'll be fine. But we just set it on the ground. And then he'll have to lift it up. And see where it's. What we got to do to make it level. Alright guys. Thanks for watching. Hey if you want to watch me do some spaghetti makings. I'm going to put that on the other channel tonight. Watch Tall Mountain Living. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll get all this figured out. My brain's shot from doing dishes. Happy trails.